it's much more intense, way more uh, the drills. You have to push yourself that much further. You, your teammates have to be on board. It, it's definitely a thing that takes commitment. I just think it's more um, expectation since we, we did it last year. We made it through, and now this is like we already did it, so now we have to go even harder and get the freshmen to come along and go hard with us. Towards the end of the season, we really grew a lot as a team, and we started to show uh, signs of what we can be and how great we can be. And I think going into break, guys started to believe in themselves more. And that, that was a time over the break where we would tweet each other back and forth with text about what workouts we were doing. So I can definitely tell the guys were ready to come back and put in the work. I just think as soon as we got back, um, the first week we ran a conditioning test, and everybody passed it. So that just shows that over the break, everyone was committed to themselves and committed to the team and getting better. I'm going to have to go with the four-corner drill. Uh, it's a great drill, but what it basically is is like a, a bunny drill. You're, you're chasing a teammate for four to four different corners. And, uh, it ends with a tackling thing. It's, it's like a man-to-man -man coverage simulation. So, I mean, it's definitely fun, but it, it takes a lot of I agree with the same one. It's just four people go at a time, so, I mean, like, Four people out there, then two more come up, so that's eight. And in my group, we only have like ten people, so the break is is cut short. So you just have to keep going back and forth, like without twelve people going. So it's just it's just tiring on you. <laughs> I would say the star drill, and that's like a shuffling drill, like shuffle to the middle. And then like once you finish, you have to make a tackle if you're on defense or if you're on offense. You have to finish with a block. So I think that's the the, most, the best drill. I mean. uh, I'm gonna go with Tom Miller's drill. It's it's more of a technique type deal where you're working on your your running motion. And that's something that we need, you know, to, to be the fastest and the strongest. You gotta have the right technique. So I think that's a good drill. I mean, that, 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 was, that was big news. That was something I definitely would love to experience. That's one of the biggest venues you can play on. Uh, Shaq and myself, we always go back and forth when we see receivers on TV saying, <laughs> if I can cover him, I'll do this and that. So, I mean, it's definitely an opportunity to show what we can do. Nice. Yeah, the same thing. I just think it's a chance for us to um, basically just be known by, like, everybody in the nation. Like, once we go against the number one team in the nation, like, they can see what we're, what we're made about and see how we play. Start this conversation. <laughs> Bernard. Guilty. Bernard. Bernard's Guilty. a Twitter freak. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can get a good laugh off Twitter, you know, uh -huh. especially with the teammates just making jokes about anything. So. Yeah. As so called the fastest person on the team, <laughs> how much pressure before you to um, run these sprint and uh, let that team have to be in front? Uh, it's, it's definitely an added element of pressure, you know. Uh, speed doesn't come with stamina, so that's something I'm still working on. <laughs> but I know I, I challenge myself every time I get up there. For uh, Mr. Shaq Bell, um, you you experienced a lot of nicknames throughout the season. Which was your favorite one? Um, I'm going to take Shaq of all trades. <laughs> the nickname Shaq of all trades, I believe, came from a reporter. like. After doing the interview, they, they learned that I played three positions, which was nickel, safety, and corner. So I got, that's how I got the name, Shaq of all trades. Mr. Everything. <laughs> <laughs>